on? Meteorologist Grant Smith here with the National Weather Service here in Juneau, Alaska. It is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, May 28th. Uh, it's been a pretty busy morning, so we're just going to kind of recap what's happened this morning, what's been coming through the office that we've heard of, and then also take a quick look at the forecast uh, for the rest of this week. So first of all, uh, we've got this atmospheric river coming through. It's brought uh, heavy rain to parts of the panhandle. And some of the impacts, uh, we have heard of two landslides that were reported this morning, one just north of Ketchikan and one uh, near Metlakatler. Still getting more information in uh, from those, so stay tuned uh, to uh, the latest as we get more. Uh, we have, but we did get those reports earlier on. Uh, so far, the greatest rain reports have been over the southern panhandle, upwards of uh, four to six inches, and it's still raining. So what I just said, four to six, is probably an underestimate. Uh, near gale to gale force winds, so 30 to 35 knots have been reported along the coast and in Clarence Strait. Those breezy conditions have been moving north. We're not expecting to see... 35 knots in the northern areas, but, you know, just those stronger winds have been slowly moving north throughout the day. River rises have happened. We do have minor flooding ongoing at Ward Lake near Ketchikan. Other rivers in the area have responded. They have risen, but just as of, well, shortly before one o'clock when I came into this office, uh, no other rivers have uh, gone into flood stage. And uh, on top of all this, yes, we know about the NOAA weather radio as down. We're going through a mandatory upgrade uh, in our system. And so we've been talking about that for a few days. And so uh, we've been able to team up with some of our partners around the area to help get some of this messaging out about these strong winds. Uh, so looking ahead to the forecast, system still remains largely on track. We've got a couple of forecasters that, were, that are in Anchorage keeping us the forecast updated. And we've been mainly focusing on the next round of rain coming in uh, because right now things are panning out uh, pretty well. Uh, so satellite derived uh, rain rates and service stations this morning have been reporting upwards of light to moderate rain kind of overall, uh, but at times rainfall has been heavy. Uh, I think we heard uh, somebody in a uh, report from the Ketchikan area, uh, the rain was not heavy, it was relentless. And so I think that's a good way to describe the, the type of rain we've been seeing uh, over the last 24 hours. Uh, but going ahead, looking forward, drier air is moving behind it, and that should move the rain, heavier rain, uh, farther east. And uh, still looking at the strong winds to push through the panhandle as well. So as far as uh, the rest of today, Wednesday into tomorrow, uh, this is a video loop that I hope helps showing where the rain is. So this starts at, uh, pause it here, at one, about one o'clock and there was a lot of rain right along the coast. There we go. And then as that drier air moves in, it's going to push all the rain uh, you know, to the east. So there you can see the rain comes to an end from west to east uh, throughout uh, the later parts of the afternoon into the evening. Uh, but doesn't mean the rain's over. <laughs> Tomorrow we've got another round of some showers moving through. Let me back the video up. Uh, this is starting off at 3 a.m., on uh, Thursday. So there's that band of showers that will come through uh, for tomorrow, bringing in uh, still some rainy conditions and we'll see the winds increase as well. So just because the rain is ending, we still have more rain on uh, the way. So here's a look at, whoop, let me skip ahead. There we go. Uh, in addition to these passing showers, there is some potential for thunderstorm development, mainly going to be very isolated in nature and along the coast uh, mountains there in the northeast. Uh, so as far as the rainfall totals forecasted amounts from 1 p.m. Wednesday to 1 p.m. Thursday, main takeaways from this graphic is the heavier totals will be farther inland. So the farther or closer along to the coast you are, lighter amounts, you know, kind of seeing about a half inch to three quarters of an inch between 1 p.m. Wednesday, 1 p.m. Thursday, upwards of one to two more inches uh, in the uh, inward or inland areas. Uh, and then once we get beyond that, so the next graphic here is still over a little bit, but this is 1 p or 10 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday to 10 p.m. Thursday. And I'm going to go back and forth between the two so you can see the differences. 1 p.m. Wednesday to 1 p.m. Thursday, 10 p.m. Wednesday to 10 p.m. Thursday. So this mainly captures the showers for tomorrow. And notice a lot less rain is expected. You know, mountainous areas, uh, what was that, west side of the mountains, about an inch or two, but most areas, the sea level where we all live, you know, half inch to three quarters of an inch at most, even lighter amounts along the coast. So even though we're still holding on to showers in the forecast, much less uh, amounts. But then we go into Friday. 
You have another round coming through. Another low pressure is going to swing through the uh, eastern gulf. So the Friday probability rainfall amounts for greater than one inch for just Friday. Notice how on the left side of your screen, uh, those high probabilities of 60 to 100% chance is all in the south again. So if you're north of, uh, say, uh, Sumner Strait, Frederickstown, if you're north of that, less than an inch is expected on Friday. And then on uh, Friday, probability of two inches, there's still a little bullseye there uh, near Ketchikan. So there's still that potential for more than two inches in Ketchikan again on Friday. But overall, for now, kind of just thinking broad brush estimates, one to two inches again on Friday, lighter amounts farther to the north. So here's a look at those Friday rainfall amounts, heaviest again in the south, upwards of one to two inches over 24 hours. The northern half, mainly less than one inch over that 24 hour time frame and the beginnings of this rain will start around 1 to 4 a.m in the south and it's just going to move to the north throughout the day and then move to the east on friday night also the wind speeds will be generally out of the east to southeast strongest again in the south about 30 to 35 knots uh, and then the farther you go north those wind speeds will decrease but still be out of the east so upwards of you know say 20 to 30 knots and then lynn canal for now we're thinking uh, kind of just light northerlies there on friday so as far as the rest of winds uh, wind speeds for the rest of today we're you're mainly looking at these wind speeds decreasing because the low pressure system that's causing all this is moving away from us so there you can see on the loop there a, a lull in the winds the forecasters use that term because it, it's just the wind speeds are going to decrease but they're not going to decrease all that much so let me replay this loop here for you now so notice how we're still seeing the strongest winds in the south again uh, but then as that low moves on the winds start to decrease this is 3 p.m uh, here on wednesday let's fast forward to 6 p.m these light colored blues here are you know still about you know 10 to 20 miles per hour or less so wind speeds are decreasing but they're not going to totally go away from 1 p.m wednesday to 1 a.m thursday still seeing stronger winds out in the gulf as well and then as we go into thursday that band of showers that's going to come through, it's going to come with some wind. So here's a look at that wind speeds on Thursday. What you're going to notice is right about here is the beginnings of that front that you'll see in the winds move inland. So wind speeds are going to go from about 10 to 20 knots, upwards of 15 to 20 knots. But then if you notice, there's still a little bit of yellow in there. That's where we're seeing those little stronger winds of 25 knots, maybe some gusts even higher than that. Uh, so that's going to be on Wednesday when the front moves through. This is 12 p.m., so this is going into Thursday afternoon. And I'll fast forward the, the, the uh, video here. You can still see just those east, kind of easterly, southeasterly winds there uh, in uh, Lynn Canal and uh, Stevens Passage, Chatham Strait, as that front comes through on Thursday. So don't get caught off guard, even though we're seeing the wind speeds decrease today, Wednesday, they're going to come back uh, for tomorrow. So uh, let me go to the next slide here. There we go. So there's the overall five-day outlook. We are seeing conditions improve, but it's just going to take a few days. And I wanted to end with this because there is light at the end of the tunnel. I want to look at Sunday. Yes, a ridge of high pressure looks to build in the Gulf, and that's where we could see a much, much lower chances of rain and maybe even some breaks in the clouds and see some sunshine. So we've been interacting with a lot of folks on Facebook asking when the rain is going to end. There you go. It's going to last through Friday, coming to an end Saturday and see some breaks in the clouds and end of the rain on Sunday. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, just comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. For the National Weather Service here in Juneau, Alaska, I'm meteorologist Grant Smith. Have a great day.